Hello and welcome to another video from Mountain Coffee Outdoors. I am Gareth. Thanks for coming with me today. I just figured today would be a good day to get out and uh, just spend some time out in the wilds and cook a lunch over the campfire. It's a winter day, but uh, it's supposed to get up to the low 40s Fahrenheit. So, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty decent day to be out. But of course, in order to cook my lunch, I need to get a campfire going. So I guess that'll be the, the first order of business here. Those feather sticks save the day. Or at least made the day easier. Since I've had this Morse pot, I haven't uh, yet used it to make cowboy coffee. So I figured, uh, you know, why not do that today? If you're unfamiliar with what cowboy coffee is, it's when you just take a pot, put water in it, throw your coffee grounds right in it, bring it to the boil, and uh, let it boil for a minute, and then just let it sit. And the coffee grounds can basically sink to the bottom. about 
half full of water. Not exactly how many cups worth of coffee that'll be. I don't think I'm even really gonna try measuring it. I'm just gonna dump some coffee grounds in there. That ought to do it. I don't really mind really rich coffee, so. Uh, And they say that uh, you can get by using cheaper coffee when you do use this method. I guess just because it does a better job of extracting the flavor from the grounds. Um, but I don't know. We're getting there. You have to be careful when you do this because initially when it starts boiling, it is very prone to boiling over. So you have to reduce the heat a bit once it comes to a boil in order to prevent that from happening. getting close to a boil. And we're boiling. Well, at least it didn't try to boil over. Let this boil for a minute, then we'll take it off. Cowboy coffee has to be the truest form of bushcraft or woodcraft coffee making. All right, take that off. Yep, no coffee grounds floating around there. They sink to the bottom. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had campfire coffee, cowboy coffee. Definitely has a good rich flavor. I'm sure to a certain extent that would uh, also depend on what kind of coffee that you use, coffee beans. This is probably about as close as you're gonna get to extracting about all the flavor you can out of the beans because uh, they're just ground up and swimming around in the pot there, not filtered out. So the water, you know, doesn't just pass through the coffee grounds. It's just, it's uh, circulating around in there and can get a chance to take out as much of the flavor from the coffee 
because it can. That's how you make coffee with nothing but a, a pot, some water, and some coffee grounds, and a heat source. And for lunch today, I decided to go with a German theme. I brought a couple bratwurst and some red cabbage, which is called like rotkraut or something like that, red cabbage. I'm just gonna grill the uh, the brats right on the grill there. Couple of brats. Now, if you don't know what red cabbage is, it's uh, it's red cabbage looks kind of like sauerkraut that's red it doesn't taste like sauerkraut um, it has a I don't know if I want to quite call it a sweet flavor but it's a sweeter flavor it's not sour um, a lot of times they'll add some apples to this but it tastes really good looks kind of weird though especially if you don't like things like beets I'm not a big fan of beets and this is about the same color but it tastes pretty good So I even have some German mustard, some uh, it's Bavarian sweet mustard it says, to go with my brats. If I keep my roll from falling apart here. <clears throat> Rotwurst are definitely really good over a campfire. Time for some red cabbage. Might look a little funny, but it tastes good.
Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Thanks for coming along with me and hanging out for a little wildland cookout. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see future videos. And thanks for watching. And this is Gareth from Mountain Coffee Outdoors. I'll see you next time.